essentially we have a series of debates and votes coming up in Westminster today. Some MPs calling for some motions to try and delay the Brexit process, some looking to try and reverse it. Anything voted on today will not be binding on Theresa May's government, but one thing to really watch closely will be whether members of her own Conservative Party once again decide to try and defeat their own government in a vote later on this afternoon. What that could mean is A, embarrassment for the Prime Minister once again, and B, another warning to Brussels that the majority that she so desperately needs in the House of Commons behind me is not quite as stable as she's been making out to her counterparts in Brussels. And when it comes to them making possible concessions with just over six weeks until a hard Brexit deadline, they may be less than willing to do so if it doesn't seem like she can actually get any proposals through the House of Commons. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, this is episodic, certainly. Uh, I, I, I wonder when we really know how everything plays out, Willem. In our, in our lifetime, do you think? Or? I hope for my sake that's the case, Joe. <laughs> Essentially, we've got yet more talks going on here and in Brussels, both between the political parties in the UK and then, of course, with different European leaders involved as well. The UK seems to be holding out for some kind of concession from the European Union, but they've said again and again, including this morning, they're not prepared to make any fresh proposals and they're waiting for the folks here in Westminster to make the next move.